ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದಿರಾಧಿಕರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಯ ಪಾಸಿಂದುಭ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವಿ ತುಸಿ ವೈ ಪಿ ಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಶ್ನಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದಿ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂಗ್ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರುಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಮನೋತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಕಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕಿಪಾಂಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೇತ್ತನಂದ ಶಿವಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೇತ್ತನಂದ ಶಿವಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದುಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪಂ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಃ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗುಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷು ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ್ಚಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿಹಿತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
कृपा सिंधु सुसंपूर्ण सर्वसत्वोपकारक निस्पृह सर्वत सिद्धो सर्विद्याशारद सर्वसंशय संक्षेत्ता अनल गुरुराहित कृपा सिंधु सुसंपूर्ण सर्वसत्वोपकारक निस्पृह सर्वत सिद्धो सर्विद्याशारद सर्वसंशय संक्षेत्ता अनल गुरुराहित गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड टू एस्टाब्लिश द सिद्धांत विचार ऑफ गुरु पाद पद्म आई एम रेडी टू गो टू हेव विथ ड्यू कंट्रैक्ट टू एस्टाब्लिश द सिद्धांत विचार ऑफ गुरु पाद पद्म आई मीन सिद्धांत विचार ऑफ गौरांग महाप्रभु आई एम रेडी टू गो टू हेल विथ ड्यू कंट्रैक्ट आई लाइक टू प्रोवाइड अ फिस्ट ऑफ फ्यूरी ऑन द हेट ऑफ दिस मेटेरियल पीपल टू चेंज देयर कंसेप्शन मेटेरियल कंसेप्शन आई लाइक टू प्रोवाइड अ फिस्ट ऑफ फ्यूरी ऑन द हेट ऑफ दोज मेटेरियल पीपल to change their conception material conception gauriya goshti prati sisila bhakti siddhant saraswati goshami thakur pahupad paramahansa jagadguru told i am ready to sacrifice thousands of people i am ready to sacrifice thousands of people for the cause of gauranga mah i am ready to sacrifice all their material enjoyment i like to sacrifice all their money i like to sacrifice all their morality in the name of morality they are doing something wrong i can sacrifice everything for the actual preaching of gaurubani i can come down to any level for the actual preaching of gaurubani to make the flow of gaur katha gaur kirtan a stream of gaur katha should prevail all around the god or around the world in true sense not in false sense we are going to glorify sri chaitanya mahaprabhu panchatatta we are going to glorify more those pure devotees eternal parshat of gauranga mahaprabhu we are going to glorify them more and more than gauranga mahaprabhu because who going to know gauranga mahaprabhu if those devotees are not there who can explain who is gauri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. You can take one deity of Gauranga Mahaprabhu and go to African forest in front of the tribal. What is this? They can understand. What is this? Now, how you know? How you know about Gauranga Mahaprabhu? Because you are taking shelter of Gauru Bani from the lotus mount of pure devotees. that's why you are coming long distance going to sacrifice all facilities everything to get the lotus feet of gauranga mahapo you want to find permanent solution in your life otherwise surely you cannot come to me everybody cannot come to me those who are interested to find final solution in their life only they can come otherwise people cannot come so gaurabani is more important because without taking shelter of gaurabani who can understand who is gauranga mahapu there can be one photo of gauranga there can be one photo of deity who can care we are taking we are going to take shelter of gaurabani that's why now we understand the glories of gauranga that is why 
Gauranga Mahaprabhu or Sri Krishna, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, I mean Supreme Lord, always speaking, the devotees are my heart. Devotees are my heart. Always Bhagavan speaking, speaking this way. Aham bhakta paradhino hi asatantra ibodiyo. Madanate Najananti Naham Tebhya Managofi. In their heart, in the heart of a pure devotee, you can find no space, no matter, nothing. Inside the heart of a pure devotee, you can find only Bhagavan is sitting. No space for any matter, nothing. Nothing. That's why Bhagavan is speaking. Those devotees are my heart. Devotees are my heart. I cannot bear if anybody is going to insult devotee, dishonor. I cannot bear. Impossible for me. That's why we know that Devananda Pandit was given punishment. That's why we know Chapal Gopal was given punishment, heavy punishment, severe punishment. Follow. This way we know Bhagavan cannot bear. Any aparad if you do, Bhagavan cannot bear. Impossible. Many such incidents we know. Mahaprabhu not going to excuse them. When Chapal Gopal requesting, Prabhu, you are coming for this reason to deliver, Mahaprabhu become very angry. Red eyes speaking. I cannot deliver you. This is nothing. I am feeling pain. It's nothing. For infinity period, you will have to suffer. You have done aparad unto the lotus feet of Sivas Pandit. So I cannot excuse you. This way he was not excused by Mahaprabhu. In South India, Ranganatham, you know, Sri Ranganath, there one Brahman, the is Pujari. So many Brahman, but one Pujari, his name is Muni. He is going to take water from Kaviri. He is going to take water from Kaviri for the Ovishek of Ranganatham. After Arti Zoba, he is going there. But in the in, in the way, he is going to meet one with one, meet with one devotee. But he don't think he is a devotee. He is a low caste, he thinks. His name is Tiruppan. He taken birth in a chandal, you know chandal, who is helping you to burn the dead body, took birth here. He is sleeping there. Am I sleeping? Man, actually not sleeping. He was singing in the name of Bhagavan, and he feels some, he develops some ecstatic feeling, and after that fall down on ground. Bhava. He develops some bhava and fall down on ground. But that Brahman thinking, he is sleeping. Hey! Go away! From here, he is shouting, but he cannot hear. He is in Baba Dasa, you know, Bhav. He cannot hear external world, what is happening in nothing. But the Pujari become very angry. He thinking, I cannot touch his body. He's a dirty man, low caste. I am high family, high Brahman, high class Brahman. So better, I can throw one stone on his body. He take one stone and throw on his body. Then by heavy stone, what happens? He get up and says, Hey, go away from here. Okay, 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 I'm going. He's not going to speak anything. He gives sight, he takes water, 
and come back. In the meantime, Ranganatham become very, very angry. Ranganatham going to close the door of the main temple. Totally, from inside. When Pijari come back with water, he find the temple is locked from inside. Who locked this temple? His hammer. Finally, he hear one aerial voice. You have done a great offense unto the lotus feet of my heart, devotee, Tiruppan. You throw a big stone to his body. You are not throwing the stone to him. You are throwing stone to me. It hurt me. So I cannot take any puja. He closed the door. Then everybody, all devotees started crying, Prabhu, do some solution. Anyway, I've done some mistake. Then Ranganathan speaking, well, you can go and beg for pardon unto the lotus feet of that devotee. You can take him on, my, on your soldier, soldier and travel Ranganathan Mandir eight times. One time you cannot travel. So long area. Two or three, four kilometers, all wrong. Wrong answer, at least eight times you have to go. And he is going to take, you know, devotee, first of all pray for excuse. Whatever done, you please excuse. After that, going to carry and travel, you know, doing parikram, eight times. After that, Ranganatham is going to open temple. Be careful. Be careful, we are going to do bhajan. Of that absolute truth. That absolute truth. Who can do anything and everything? I can speak clearly everything without any fear. Because I know if anybody is going to attack me, coming to attack me, that Supreme Lord, I mean, that Absolute Truth can come. Absolute, that Absolute Truth can come here, appear here to protect me. Because my life is dedicated for Him. Follow what I say. Papa speaking, he is, he is bound to come. If I am speaking about Absolute Truth and people will go against me, like to attack me, I don't fear. Because I know that Absolute, that reason for why they are going to attack me. I am speaking absolute truth. That absolute truth, Bhagavan can come down here. This way, those pure devotees, they are always protected. Bhagavan is always taking seva from them. Whereas I can have billions of dollars, but Bhagavan not taking any seva from me. Bhagavan taking seva from Vidurji Maharaj. Bhagavan is not going to take any seva from Duryodhan. Bhagavan is not going to. Bhagavan is going to take seva from, you know, that Sudama Vipro. Though is penniless. If you can study all Shastra under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava, you hear, then you can go mad. You can go mad. Bhagavan not going to think about Vidurji Maharaj, he has some appearances or not. Bhagavan not going to think that Hunuman Ji Maharaj is monkey. Not going to think that way. Vidurji Maharaj not going to think that Bali Maharaj is a demon. Bhagavan not going to think that Savari, Mataji Savari in Ram, Raman Lila, low caste, not going to think. Bhagavan not going to think that Guhak Chandal is a very low caste, very bad looking, black. Bhagavan not going to think. Bhagavan not going to think about Gajendra. Gajendra is an animal, not going to think. 
This way, Bhagavan not going to see the beauty of Kubja, how beautiful that lady is. Bhagavan not going to pass any judgment. Bhagavan always going to see your heart. Whereas Kabari, you know, that Kubja crying. You are speaking me beautiful lady. I feel very sorry for that. I feel pain inside heart. But I am very ugly. Bhagavan said, no. You are very beautiful. I see your heart. I am less interested about external beauty, external financial capacity, external educational capacity, which country you took birth, nothing. I am going not, I am less interested. I am less interested actually. Jagik Patni, those you know, they all, everybody, they are going to get Kipa. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking, that Haridas Thakur is more than me. Haridas Thakur, Bhagavan speaking, your body is more than me. Prabhu speaking, I am going to touch you. You don't touch me. I am very fallen soul. I am uh, for Muslim people. I, I took birth. Bhagavan speaking, I am going to touch you to purify myself. The kind of quality, pure quality you have inside you, I don't have. I don't have that. That's why I'm going to touch you. This way, Bhagavan always accepting seva, their bhava, everything. We know that bhajan is more important. And see, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told the same thing in Chaitanya Yajana. Jai bhaja sei baro, abhakta hin char, is Bengali. Who is going to do bhajan? He is superior to others, those who are not doing bhajan. Bhajan is the only scale on the basis of which you can, not that he is making, uh, you know, one lakh, two lakh devotees all over the world, making, you know, you know hundreds of temples, not that. This is not the yardstick. It is not the jersey. Bhakti Mithagur not making a temple. Bhakti Mithagur not going to foreign country. But he is the only person. He is the only person, first person in whole Gauriya society to speak Harikatha in different languages. The date coming, we can discuss Tiruvaptiti. He is the first personality. Otherwise, who could know? He used to speak in English, Bengali, Sanskrit, Urdu, Hindi, so many languages Bhakti Mithagur used to speak. Or who could know? Bhakti Mithagur not going to any foreign country. But his preaching is the topmost. Who not reading the book of Bhakti Mithagur? This way, we can understand, it is the Siddhanta Vichara Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Jai Bhaja Sei Varo Abhakta Hinshar. Non-devotee, in the apron of devotee, can be there. Thousands of demons can take the base of Vaishnava, who care man. Ravan can also take the base of Sanyas, can take one danda. So what? If you want to see only external thing, then you are cheated. You are cheated. You cannot understand a Vaishnav. A Vaishnav cannot open his heart in front of you. If he, if a Vaishnav can understand, you are going to cheat him, then you can get cheated. Vaishnav cannot open his heart in front of you. Keep everything secret. This way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking, bhajan is most important. Bhajan is so important that we have so many documents. In Barshana, Nandagam, here, there, in Gaurdham also, so many. They already 
they already meet with Supreme Lord. They already meet with Supreme Lord. But still, they are going to, they are going to pay more attention to bhajan. Why? Madhavandhi Puripa already meet with Bhagavan many times. In dream, directly. Gaur Kishore Babaji Maharaj meet with Gauranga. Not only that, Gauranga Mahaprabhu taking one boat to help him to cross the river. Gauranga Mahaprabhu like a servant, serving his devotees. Why they are, then why they are giving so much importance to bhajan? Because their bhajan, their bhajan, nam bhajan, is same as you can get the opportunity when Bhagavan can come from. Because their bhajan means they can meet with Bhagavan. Many times Pope was speaking, don't think that you can never meet with Supreme Lord. Pope was speaking, if you have, Pope was speaking, if you have the opportunity to hear pure Harikatha, from the lotus mouth of a pure devotee, then surely you are going to meet with Bhagavan. Harikatha means Hari himself. Baba speaking, if you are going to get the opportunity to hear Harikatha from a pure source, that's when you are meeting with Bhagavan. Topics of Bhagavan you are meeting, you can see in heart. Hearing Harikatha you are going to think, meet. So bhajan is more important because their bhajan mean, now Bhagavan can appear in front of me, but after a fraction of a second, Bhagavan can appear. In front of Dhubha Maharaj, Bhagavan appear. Okay, for how long? Disappear. In front of Gajendra, Bhagavan appear. Gajendra appear. After that, Bhagavan disappear. Bhagavan cannot stay. But if you hear Harikatha, non-stop Harikatha, from Guru Vaishnava, then you can see, you can get permanent darshan of Bhagavan. Pure Harikatha can assure you that you can get the dar uninterrupted darshan of Bhagavan. Harikatha can assure you. And one very vital point I like to point you out, that satsanga, Prabhupada speaking, all scientific, in whole world, Brahmanda, such scientific word, nobody speaks. Scientific word speaking, maybe, but this way, I am very foolish idiot. For me, very clear, clear cut, Prabhupada speaking. If you cannot ensure your continuous satsanga, be careful, don't forget this Siddhanta. If you cannot ensure your uninterrupted satsanga, then there is no surety. You can again jump into Maya. Through Harikatha, Kirtan, writing, doing so much, you have to get in touch with satsanga. If there is some gapping in satsanga, at that time Maya can enter and provide a big kick. You can throw again in Maya. You can go to hell. A very important word, Prabhupada used to say that you will have to ensure hundred percent that your satsanga is non-stop satsanga. This is called bhajan. Then you can become Siddha. You can become Siddha. You have to ensure. There is a main point. We can point out that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in front of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in front of Haridas Thakur. Even Mahaprabhu speaking, don't, why you are going to take trouble to take uh, three lakhs Harinam? You are Siddha Mahatma. Mahaprabhu, Supreme Lord Himself. Supreme Lord Himself speaking. Why you are taking trouble? You are Siddha Mahatma, three lakhs Harinam. You can do less Harinam. I cannot do less Harinam. I cannot do less Harinam. Why? For whom you are doing Harinam? That Prabhu, like a servant daily coming to give you prasadam in hand, going to send prasadam, uchishta, 
through Govinda, that Mahaprabhu going to Vrindavan, uh, going to Jagannath Mandir, all Panda giving all mala, all prasadam, all chandan, everything, right? Prabhu first going to give to Haridas. How you are? Take, take, take prasadam. Why? Like a servant. Mahaprabhu speaking, you stay here, do Harinam. Daily I can come and take, give darshan now. Mahaprabhu not speaking, I can give darshan to you. Daily I can come and meet with you. What do you mean? That Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Radha Govinda Avatar, he is speaking, you do less Harinam. I cannot do less. One day he couldn't complete his Harinam. Mahaprasad coming in plate. Govinda speaking, you take prasad and keep your mouth. Like today I cannot take. Why, why, why? Actually, today I couldn't complete my. Today I cannot complete my. So I, can, I have no right to take prasad. So bring prasad to me. Is taking tulasi. Okay, you put that prasad. This is the nishtha of pure devotee. Not that in front of you, they can show acharan and when they are staying alone, doing something else, not that. Not that, same acharan. In front of you, one pure devotee is staying or you cannot see him. Same acharan, same bhajan. Follow. Even more. So, bhajan is more important. And if you understand bhajan means something rubbish thing, your conception is, you know, I don't know if, you, if your conception is wrong conception, bhajan means you must be sure that your activities, your naam, your harikatha, kirtan, going to satisfy the Supreme Lord for for whom you are doing Harikatha Sankirtan? To satisfy Bhagavan? So that you should be very sure about that. That by Harikatha Kirtan, Bhagavan, I am trying to satisfy Bhagavan only, not to get money, nothing. We can give so many examples. Bhagavan already there, took birth in his family, but still he is going to forest. Bhagavan himself took birth, like Kardam Rishi. Kardam Rishi, Devahuti, Kardam Rishi. Devahuti, she is the daughter of Manu Maharaj, king, big king. And Kardam Rishi, Bhagavan, Supreme Lord, he is going to take birth, Abhamandev Maharaj. Hey, uh, sorry, actually, huh? That, uh, you know, Kapil Bhagavan, Kapilji Maharaj. Kapilji Maharaj is uh, Bhagavan, he is taking birth. He already came in dream, gave instruction, gave, gave instruction that I am coming to a family. Uh, when Bhagavan coming, then why Kardam Rishi going to take permission from Bhagavan? You permit me, I can take sannyas and go to forest. Prabhuja. Prabhuja means Sanskrit word. Sanyas. Bhagavan Kapil was very happy. Bhagavan is there in room. <laughs> Come on. Bhagavan is there inside your room. Why you are taking trouble to go to forest? What is the mood? Kapil Ji Maharaj, you know, Kapil Bhagavan was very happy because Father Kardam Rishi wanted to do more and more bhajan. Never wanted to take any facility from Bhagavan. He took permission to take sannyas to do more and more bhajan. Because if I stay in front of Bhagavan, I can feel comfortable. Okay, Bhagavan is there. What no need of by doing bhajan? What use? Going to forest. According to his previous resolution, Whenever one boy and baby can take birth, boy baby, I can go to forest. He took resolution, that's why he's going to forest. 
This way, how Bhagavan can be satisfied? How Bhagavan can be satisfied with me? You will have to learn, you will have to know from pure Guru Vaishnava. Fancifully, if you run your life, you can never come out successful in billions of life. You can never come out successful. You will have to sacrifice all your life, all your heart, mind, everything you will have to sacrifice for Bhagavan. Prabhupada always speaking, if you can give total, if you can give the total, if you can give the total, then you can get the total. I mean the Supreme Lord. If you can give the total, then you can get the total. Follow? I mean that absolute. Not before that. Now, I am very, you know, interested to discuss about uh, you know, t the topics of Say, Bhakteshwar Pandit, the great devotee, because to get mercy from pure devotee, I mean, the only way open. Many times I told you, can, you, can, you forget, you cannot remember. Shruta sapungsam suchira samasya nanyo sasuri vridhartha tattvat gunan savanam mukundha padar vinda hidesh yesham. Those devotees who are going to confine, you know, the lotus feet of Bhagavan inside the heart and lock. Bhagavan cannot go out. If you can glorify their name, fame, everything, you can get, you can meet with Supreme Lord very easily. Or you can fo follow some other way. You can go through Vedic Haim, you can go recite Vedic Puran Adi, you can do, you can try to become a great scholar. You can follow Brahmacharya Bhattu, everything you can, austerities and penance you can do. But there is no guarantee. There is no guarantee. If you are going to glorify devotee, then it is the easiest way. You are going to put so much energy, gallons, for this reason, to become a great scholar. Ved, Vedanta, you are reading, oh, everything, everybody is thinking, Maharaj, you are a great scholar. Okay. But the advice we are getting from Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavatam, you can get too much, so much energy to learn Veda, Vedanta, Upanishad, okay. But still there is no guarantee. You can get Bhagavan. But you can, it is confirmed, you can get the darshan of Bhagavan. If you can, if you can glorify Supreme, I know, devotees of that Supreme Lord, there is a guarantee. Many times Bhagavan speaking this way. So we are going to glorify Bhakteshwar Pandit for our own facility, for our own benefit. Bhakteshwar Pandit is a great, you know, devotee. Any amount of philosophy, any amount of example is not sufficient to substantiate his glories. Only Siman Mahaprabhu can say something. Mahaprabhu speaking, I cannot speak the glories of Radharani totally. So Mahaprabhu cannot speak the glories of Haridas Thakur totally. But shall I can do? Bhagavan speaking. This way, Bhakteshwar Pandit actually in Gaura Ganadesh Deepika. Our Kobi Karnapur writing, he was, he was not, he is, was I cannot say, because he is eternally present there. He is actually Tunga Vidya Swaraswati, Tunga Vidya Sakhi, Tunga Vidya Sakhi is very, you know, expert in song, dancing, everything art and culture. Tunga Vidya Sakhi. 
Tunga Vidya Sakhi. Now in Gaur Lila, it is also eternal. We cannot say Bhaktasabhani took birth, he can die. Bhaktasabhani is eternally present in some, always eternally present. Because Gaur Lila chain was going, no? like, you know, cyclic order, uninterrupted way. So somewhere in uh, some Brahmanda, now Gauranga Mahapu taking birth, or now Gauranga Mahapu taking sannyas, who can say? Our finite brain cannot grasp this point. Our finite brain, we are also going to play our brain. But this is useless. The day you can kick your brain, the day you can kick your body, the day you can kick your mind, wicked mind, then you can come out successful. Not before that. You will have to sell your body, mind, hair, everything onto the lotus feet of a pure devotee. Of you have to sell yourself. Papa speaking, when you are going to sell unto the lotus feet of Gauranga, in Bhagavatam it is written, if you go to any market and buy one you know, goat or cow or buffalo or horse, whatever you can buy, you can buy. When you are pay, going to give payment, then it is yours. You are paying and coming with a beast and are going to keep that beast into sunlight, not giving water, not giving grass or anything, but still that beast has nothing to do. Bhikrito Pashori Yatha. In Bhagavatam, this example written. Bhikrito Pashor Yatha, like a beast is sold in market. Uh, if somebody is going to buy, now it is his right to control the beast. The beast has nothing to do. Totally, you know, under the control of. This is called Saranagati. This is called actual Saranagati. But we always like to reserve our personal choice, personal desire, annavila, everything. We like to preserve. Oh, we don't like to open the heart. We don't like to open the heart in front of Guru Vishnu. See what you say. If we can open, they can clear, they can clean that heart. But we are not going to open, to keep secretly. The cancerous disease, the leprosy disease we have inside our heart, going to control, not like to expose. That is the reason we cannot make any progress in our vajan. That only The only reason, the only reason, that's why we cannot make. Bhakkesha Pandit is the heart of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Actually, Bhakkesha Pandit took birth in Guptipara, one place from Navadip station, if you take one train, from Navadhi station, if you take on train and running towards Howrah, there is after Kalna, Kalna you know, very name, after Kalna Gupti Bhara. After Kalna Gupti Bhara, there he took birth. He is the eternal person of Bhagavan. And go, when Gauranga Mahaprabhu, when Gauranga Mahaprabhu started Nam Sankirtan Jagya, from the very beginning, Bhakkesha Pandit was the personal associate of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Always. When Sankirtan Yoga, Sankirtan Ras took place in Siva Sangan, Bhakkesha Pandit always dancing. He could dance at a stretch 72 hours. Can you imagine? Can you even imagine in. Huh? At a stress 72 hours, without non-stop, without water, going to bathroom to pass, no. At a stress 72 hours. Still he was not satisfied. He is speaking to Gauranga Mahaprabhu Prabhu. Could you please give me 10,000 Gandharva? Gandharva, you know, those who can dance and, you know, sing. He is requesting to Mahaprabhu, Prabhu, 
Chandramuk, oh my Hena beloved Prabhu, if you can arrange 10,000 Gandharva, eh? they can sing and I can dance, then I can feel something satisfaction. Otherwise not. Mahaprabhu speaking, I like to fly in the sky by hearing your kirtan. You are actually one wing. You are actually my one wing. If I can an get another wing, I can fly in the sky. Mahapo speaking. Actually, you are my one wing. If I can get another wing, I like to fly in the sky. Mahapo speaking this word. Now you understand. Who is Bakrisa Pandit? From the very beginning, he started, you know, when Mahaprabhu first started, Sankirtan, Jagya, everything, Bhakrasa Pandit was always there. Always. When took sannyas, that time also, when went to, you know, Puri, that time also, when Mahaprabhu took sannyas, went to Puri, Nilachaldam, Bhakrasa Pandit was always living everything and going to take shelter there. Bhakrasa Pandit used to stay in that Gambhira Mandir. Mahaprabhu going to give this place to Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur in the main road with straw. Everybody running, Haridas, Mahaprabhu call you. I cannot go inside. I am so fallen, I can touch with uh, all pure devotees. How I can go? You, you, you can ask. You know, Prabhu, not to, you know. Mahaprabhu was very happy. Finally, Mahaprabhu running outside, Haridas not going. Mahaprabhu coming, running and coming outside in the main road to take Haridas and embrace. After that, Haridas Thakur, you can stay with me, Prabhu. How I can enter into temple? I have no right to go to Jagannath temple here, Gambira Mandir. I cannot say. Where I can? Okay, I can arrange you. Prabhu going to arrange the spot place in Aitota. Haridas, you can stay here. Do Sankirtan. I can send prasadam daily for you. You need not go anywhere. And uh, you can take bath in, in, in the ocean, in the sea. And from long distance you can see the wheel of Jagannath. And come and do your own bhajan. Bhakrasa Pandit, by the desire of Mahaprabhu, he was staying inside in that, you know, Gambira with Sarup Gosai. This way, non stop seva. Bhakrasa Pandit, where not? When going to go Jagannath temple, Mahaprabhu dancing and singing, <coughs> wherever Mahaprabhu going. Bhakrasa Pandit is always there. And he is dancing and singing such a powerful that Bhagavan is bound to come and watch. Bhagavan is bound to come and watch his dancing and singing. This kind of powerful dancing. Actually, Devananda Pandit he committed Aparadhat unto the lotus feet of Sivas Pandit. I can come to this topic after. Not in details, I can go. Because Devananda Pandit was a great scholar of Bhagavatam. Devananda Pandit was a great scholar of Bhagavatam. In, according to the estimation of this material calculation. Not according to the estimation of, not according to the estimation of Ma. Mahaprabhu used to say, he is a Bhagavat. Follow. Who love devotee Bhagavat, Bhakta Bhagavat, he is actually Bhagavat. Who can, who can understand the secrecy of Bhagavatam? Who is going to love pure devotee, Mahabhagavat? Pure devotees, they are Bhagavat. Pure devotee, Bhagavat, two types. One is Grantha Bhagavat, Book Bhagavatam, sound incarnation of Bhagavan, 
Srimad Bhagavatam, and another is Devotee Bhagavatam. Devotee Bhagavatam is more important because if you are not going to sell turn to a little speed of uh, Bhakta Bhagavatam, you can understand nothing of Srimad Bhagavatam Mahaprabhu. That's why Devananda Pandit was a great scholar of Bhagavatam according to the estimation of material people. Okay. So all people used to come in the afternoon time to hear Bhagavatam. He used to recite Bhagavatam. But anyway, Mahaprabhu was not happy because his heart was not soft. His heart, he was not a devotee. Rather, he was a mumuksha. I mean, he was very much interested about STT finance or this, or devotion not. About devotion, useless. That's why Mahaprabhu was not happy. But anyway, all the students, everybody coming to learn Bhagavatam. And one day, our Sivas Pandit also went. I can come to this topic after, not in details. Then, he was thrown outside because of some disturbance created by him. Not disturbance, he was out of love, he was crying, but they feeling disturbance, so put him outside. That was a great offense unto the lotus feet of Sivas Pandit. So Devananda Pandit is totally devoid of bhakti. Devoid of bhakti means desert, you know. Our Guru Bhargava used to teach us, my son, devoid of bhakti means is, uh, your heart is desert. Never can creeper grow nothing. If they are devoid of bhakti means, totally devoid of bhakti means, desert. There are no creepers, grass, tree can grow there. Even if you put so much water, too much water, sunlight still not. Because it's dry. Follow? This way, Devananda Pandit was totally devoid of bhakti. It's a great offense. When our Bhakrasya Pandit one day coming in the house of a devotee, pure devotee, Navadhi, that side of river. And whole day and night, whole day, dancing. By hearing that one exalted devotee coming, pure prema, shedding tears and dancing, Devananda Pandit was very much in, let me see, thousands of people going to watch, let me go, let me go, he is also coming. He watching really so. Oh my God! All around devotees, they are also crying. And Bhakteshwaran is in the name of Bhagavan, dancing so nicely. And all devotees and all around people, so much congestion. Some men need to control the congestion. Follow. All around people. So Bhakteshwaran is too constrict. I'm going to control the rush. I don't I'm going to manage the whole place. And he was very stunned to see this, this kind of never saw. I am reading Bhagavatam, I am teaching Bhagavatam. I never feel this kind of thing. So he's a great devotee. As per the symptom, because he is reading Bhagavatam, he knows the symptom, but no feeling. But that day he was doing some seva with a stick to control the, you know, mass. That was great seva. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sitting inside your heart, inside my heart, your heart, everywhere. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu watching, is doing great seva today. And after 12 o'clock night, when somehow our Bhakrisa Pundit was bound to stop, you know, Kirtan, I mean, Dancing. And he was very happy with the seva of this Devananda Pandit. He blessed him. I bless you. Which is rare. Which is rare for, you know, big, big. Indra, Varun, Adi, big, big, rare. Brahma, Sangha. I bless you. You can get Krishna Prema. From there, from that day onward, Mahaprabhu was very happy. Mahaprabhu was very happy. 
So Mahaprabhu, when come again, then he want to excuse him and giving him prema, everything this way. Bhakyasya Pandit actually, during Ratha Yatra, you know, during Ratha Yatra, it was a system. It was a, it, it was a system set by Mahaprabhu. What is the system? There should be seven group. There should be seven group. Follow. And seven group and 108 Medanga. 108 Medanga, you know? Now it's real. My heart crying. I cannot see such a devotee who can dance with Medanga, feel all gone. At the time of Prabhupada also, 108 Midanga playing in Calcutta Road. When Prabhupada coming from Ultadingi Junction to enter the new temple, they have Bhagavad Gauriya mission. Hollow with a photo of Gauranga as a so thousand, as if the whole Calcutta break down there. Yes, it is written. It, it was written, it is written. As if whole Calcutta, eh? Breakdown there, all coming. And Prabhupada, Ajahn Ulambi, the Vujova. Oof. Prabhupada walking with Pajanti Mala. Prabhupada going. And Prabhupada wrote one kirtan. It's a very deep inner meaning. Sridhar Goswami Maharaj explained this kirtan. No, any Pandit cannot explain what is the inner meaning of that kirtan. Nobody can understand. So, you know, I mean, only Siddhar Goswami Maharaj explained this kirtan that this way Prabhupada wanted to mean this. And Prabhupada working, thousands of people, hundreds of devotees, they are in queue going up to Gauri. Procession, big procession. That was a unique thing. 108 Midanga. Gauranga Mahapu used to uh, make one system. What is the system? There should be seven different groups. Seven different groups. Each group having a head of Kirtan. Follow. Like Sarup Gosai. Sarup Gosai, one team. Sarup Gosai is the leader. Adhaita Gosai is the leader of another. Nityananda Prabhu is the leader of another. Haridas Thakur is the leader of another. Follow. Bakesha Pandit is the leader of one group. Basu Ghos is the leader of another group. And Mukundo is the leader of the seven, I speak. How excellent! Seven Sampradaya dancing, seven Sampradaya, seven group. And Mahaprabhu in front of Jagannath, crying, shedding tears and a feeling on Ratha Yatta there I can explain. Impossible. And king of Jagannath Puri, I mean Puri district, king from long distance watching. How? King and his associates watching. Oh, what are you, what are you watching? Prabhu dancing. And Jagannath laughing. He is Jagannath, he is sitting in the chariot, he is actually. Um, and in seven sampradaya, each sampradaya people, if some each sampradaya devotee, they are feeling that Prabhu is in my group because Prabhu loved me so much. Each sampradaya watching that Prabhu is in my group. Prabhu not going to that group, but everybody feeling that. Nobody can see Prabhu also dancing in that group. In that group, nobody can see. It is the desire of Bhagavan. When Bhagavan doing normal lila, follow. Bhagavan not going to speak that I am Bhagavan. Gauranga Mahapu never. But it is the arrangement of Jogumaya. Sometime Bhagavan expressing forehand, eight hand, everything. But after that, then Mahaprabhu asking, uh, something happened wrong with me? 
Nothing asking to devotee. I have done some, uh, something like a foolish. When Baba gone, but ba ba Mahaprabhu going to chat. Have I done something wrong? Eh? Like a foolish man? No, no, nothing. Prabhu asking. Because Prabhu sometimes expressing Bhagavat Leela, I mean Swayam Bhagavan. It is the arrangement of Yoga Maya. Even Bhagavan has no effect. If Bhagavan is going to know I am Bhagavan, then all human Leela is not possible. Just like human Leela. It's not possible. So it is all, uh, someday I can explain all in details how possible. How possible? Bhagavan not going to get any information. All can be done easily by the arrangement of Yoga Maya. Yoga Maya is this, but anyway, Krishna going to this, this kind of human Leela, just like a human boy. If some Aishwarya going to contaminate Madhurjo Leela, it's not possible. Madhurjo is always up. Even if in Braja Leela, I mean in Navadip Leela, also Braja Leela, if there is Madhurjo Leela and Aishwarya Leela both, but Aishwarya, Aishwarya Baba can never Go over Madhurjo Lila. Or Madhurjo Lila, Madhurjo Baba always going to cover. Madhurjo Baba always going to cover up. Madhurjo Baba always going to cover up. Madhurjo Baba always going to cover up, you know, Vaisharya. Otherwise, you cannot enjoy. Why you are not going to get so much taste about Vishnu uh, Leela, Narayan Leela? Why you are going to get taste with Gauranga Leela? Why you are going to get taste with Krishna Leela? Why? Because it's just like human. That is why you are getting taste. Follow? Just like human. So Gauranga Mahaprabhu doing this kind of, expressing this kind of appliances, are all arranged by Yoga Maya. But nobody can watch. Only a few people, one or two or three. Raja Pratap Ruddha, Sarvam one or two or three. They are watching, oh, you see Prabhu dancing in seven at a time. They can watch. Because if Bhagavan appear here, if suppose if Bhagavan appear here, still you cannot see. If Bhagavan appear here, still you have no right to see. If Bhagavan not going to arrange, I mean the Jogumaya, according to the desire of Bhagavan, not going to arrange, you cannot see. Even if Bhagavan is there, follow, you cannot see. It is not possible. Because in Sandarbha, it is written, Bhagavan has countless Shakti, you know, countless, no? You cannot count. Infinity Shakti with Bhagavan. Infinity. But all source is Radharani. Lotus feet of Radharani. All source is Radharani. Follow. Now point is that infinity Shakti is there. Bhagavan is decorated by infinity Shakti. It is a desire of Bhagavan sometime Eternally Leela going on, but in infinity Brahmanda, sometime Bhagavan like to, you know, like to, you know, close. Bhagavan like to close the chapter of creation. Sometime Bhagavan like to close, close the chapter of creation. I mean, all gone. Like one lotus flower, no? In the morning time, the sunlight opening this way. This way, no? In the evening time, this way. Close. Same thing. Creation also. Creation also like this. Follow. From Mahatattva, this, that, you know, by the desire of Bhagavan, all opening, this, gradually. When Srishti, I mean creation chapter going to be closed, then just anti-clockwise. Clockwise opening, going to Suppose uh, this reason going to submerge with that reason, that reason going to submerge with the previous reason, previous reason going to 
Submerged is still previous reason this way, all reason come to a almost zero point. Shakti, Bhagavan, take. That's why you can remember, uh, many times I told that in, uh, that in Bhagavatam it is written, Veda Stuti, you know, all Veda in personified form, all Veda in personified form, Veda all in personified form, going to pray Bhagavan. Pray Bhagavan, no? And Veda speaking what? When Bhagavan is sleeping, all creation going inside with a an annihilation. All creation. It is in Brahma Sangita again. Jashaika Nishe Shito Kalo Mathabalambo Jivanti Loma Vilaja Jagadandanatha Vishnura Mahanasa Ihu Yasu Kala Vishesho Govindamadi Purusham Tamahambaya and you know. But at Veda Stuti, it is written, and in this look also, when exhalation, all creation comes. Even Bhagavan looking at Prakriti and all Jivatma going into the womb of Prakriti. Now, according to their previous and our karma fall, they are going to take birth. Now, in Veda Stuti, Veda Stuti, those Veda speaking. Jaya 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 jama jita dosa grivita guna tamasi yadatmana samabharu dasamastha bhaga aga yaga dhoko sama kila sata babo dhakate. Very nice. There Veda speaking, Prabhu, when you are going to close the chapter of creation, then only only and only you. Only, only and you. Nothing there. Eko aham bahushwam shetashar upanishad. Only Bhagavan. Nobody there. I mean, no Leela. When Bhagavan is going to manifest Sakti, then the question of Leela comes. When Bhagavan is going to take all Sakti, when Bhagavan is going to Ah, fold all Sakti. When Bhagavan is going to fold all Sakti and put inside heart, then you cannot see anything. Only Bhagavan alone. Leela mean, Leela mean to play with Sakti. Devotees are also Sakti. Leela, you can get the taste of Leela. When Bhagavan is going to play? With all, if no playing, then you cannot. Eternal world, Bhagavan and Leela going on. Eternal world, eternally Bhagavan. This way, in Veda Suti, we know Bhagavan like to fold, I know, all. That's why Veda going to pray unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan. Jaya Jaya Jahi. If I split up, I speak like Hayam. But when I split up, I'm going to explain you, then and only then you can realize. Jaya Jaya Jahi Ajam. Asain Chaitanya 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 Prabhu, your Maya is like a sea goat Ajam. Follow. You like to finish. Because so long as that Aja, I mean that Maya is there, I cannot get the privilege to see you or pure Guru Vaishnava. Because this is one kind of insulation or barrier, you can say. Like insulation cannot allow the current to flow through non-conductor. If I say you can, uh, I can connect one current pole and here the current cannot go because it is insulative object, plastic, wood, rubber. This way you cannot get. So Bhagavan, they, they are Veda, 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 they are, they are praying to Bhagavan, please kindly. You withdraw. You withdraw. Your, your Maya is your Maya. Maya is also eternal. Maya is also eternal, eternally present. You cannot see. If Yogamaya is eternally present, so it's shadow, I'm not shadow like you and me. 
also eternally present. So you cannot get rid of Maya. Until and unless you are going to take shelter from heart, in true sense, and to a lotus feet of pure goodness. If you have some doubt, then no person. If you have some doubt, then you cannot get solution. Because Sangsai Atma Binashwati. In Gita it is written, Sangsai Atma can get destroyed, can fall down. Because they have doubt about pure Guru Vishnu. They have doubt about pure Siddhanta Vichar. They have doubt about Parampara system. You should have strong love, tremendous. Follow. If your throat is, you know, cut off, still, you know, like Haridasta was speaking, no? Haridasta was speaking in front of those Muslim rulers, I mean, Polish. That if you cut my head, still I am not going to stop taking Harinam. Better you can cut, no problem. If you can cut me into pieces, still each piece can speak Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Follow. Each and every hair tips can speak Harinam. That is called Siddhi. That is called the extreme position, like Radharani. When Radharani is speaking Harinam, all hair tips stand. All, he, all ear, nose become mad. Because eyes like to see the beauty of Bhagavan, you know. Ear like to hear about Bhagavan. Tongue like to speak about Krishna. Leg like to run towards Krishna. All sense organ from respective position going to pull. And Radharani is speaking, where I can go? All my sense organ pulling here and there. I feel, she feel unconscious. Can you imagine this kind of love? What to speak about Radharani? Hanumanji Maharaj, when speaking Ram, when speaking, doing Ram Nam Jap, closing eyes, Jai Ram, Sri Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Jai Ram, Sri Ram, Jai Jai Ram, written in Bhagavad. All hair tips stand. As if all hair tips speaking Ram, 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 all hair tips. But our tongue cannot speak. Our tongue can speak all material thing, but cannot speak. If I speak you to do one lakh harina maharaj, it is time taking. It's time taking. You cannot cook because you think you are cooking for yourself. Eh? Banana flower maharaj is time taking. So what where you are giving time? Eh? For what reason? You are giving time? You can have. You think you are going to eat. If you think I am, I am cooking for Bhagavan, then you can cook daily, fresh. You can offer Bhagavan, and Bhagavan can feel happy. Otherwise, you can put in a fridge and open and take. It's not good. <laughs> it's very dirty habit. Don't do that. Bhagavan can never approve you. You have to cook. For Bhagavan, you can put photo of Guru Vishnu, Bhagavan. You can feel that Guru Vishnu, Bhagavan is there. You have to cook nicely. Oh, who can go to market today? I can, you know, finish. It's called laziness. Laziness is not allowed. Those who are lazy, they cannot do Hari Bhajan. Hari Bhajan is not for them. Anyway, so Bhakteshwar Pandit, this way, Mahaprabhu is 100, 100, 100% satisfied by Bhaktisar Pandit is singing, dancing, like that day I was speaking, Mukunda Dattva. Maharaj. And specially, I told you, I can show you all document. In Kalikal, all other Jagya, who is going to do Jagya? You can see his heart. If invite one man, dirty man. In the name of Jagga, is going to spend thousands of rupees, you get nothing. Because Jagya can give result if all items of Jagya is pure, but it's impossible. In Kalikal, you cannot get ghee, clarified butter pure, it's contaminated. You can go to market to get apple and this, that. Also, some Muslim people, eh, that, you know, touching that apple, giving you. 
all contaminated. Mind contaminated, oh, eh? Pure devotees can do Sankirtan Jagya. It's more practical. It is already Mahaprabhu told. Sankirtan Jagya is more effective. Hello. So, there is so many things actually. So, if we like to satisfy Sankirtan Pita, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the only way open, you have to do Sankirtan. In the room, oh no, nobody going to hear in front of you can do. You go on doing, you can feel some result. Narthama Thakur Gita, Bhakti Thakur Gita. With the mood to satisfy Bhagavan. So, Bhakteshwar Pandit is a great devotee. Eternal Prasad, Mahaprabhu is always satisfied with him because of his dancing. So, we like to beg for pardon unto our ruler's feet of Bhakti Pandit. If any mistake done knowingly or unknowingly, at the same time, I like to beg for kipa from him so that I can go also get inspiration to sing the glories of Bhagavan whole life. Up to my last limit, when I'm going to leave my body, I can sing the glories of Bhagavan. I like to get that kind of luck from all devotees. Bancha Kalpatarosya ki pasindu bevacha. So, Tadeva Ramam Ruchiram Navam Navam Tadeva Shashat Manasu Aha Savam Tadeva Sokaranava Soshanam Ninam Yaduttama Soku Yaso Anugi Yate Sometime I can explain first slok, keep us into this last sometime.